American businessman was in Japan. He hired a local hook and was going at it all night with her. She kept screaming Fujifu, Fujifu, which the guy took to be pleasurable. The next day he was golfing with his Japanese counterparts and he got a hole in one. Wanting to impress the clients, he said Fujifu. The Japanese clients looked confused and said, no, he got the right hole. <laughs> lady goes to the gynecologist but won't tell the receptionist what's wrong with her. Just that she must see a doctor. After hours of waiting, the doctor sees her in. Okay, my good woman, what's your problem? The doctor asks. Well, she says, my husband is a very compulsive gambler and every nickel he can get his hands on, he gambles. So I had $500 and I stuffed it in my vagina. But now I can't get it out. The doctor says don't be nervous, I see this happen all the time. He asks her to pull down her underwear, sits her down with her legs wide open, puts his gloves on and says, I only have one question, what am I looking for, bills or loose change? <laughs> Husband and wife want to take golf lessons from a pro at a local country club. The man and woman meet the pro and head onto the driving range. The man goes up to it first, he swings and hits the ball 100 yards. The golf pro says, not bad. Now hold the club as firm as you hold your wife's breath. The man follows instructions and hits the ball 300 yards. The golf pro says, excellent, now the woman takes her turn. Her ball goes 30 yards. The golf pro says, not bad, but try holding the club like you hold your husband's t She swings and the ball goes 10 yards. Not bad, but now try taking the club out of your mouth to hit the ball. <laughs> Man and woman were dating and he asked her to marry him. She told him that to prove his love to her, she wanted him to get her name Wendy tattooed on his penis. When it was erect, it said Wendy and when it was limp, it said W-Y. They got married and went to Jamaica to a beach for their honeymoon. Wendy asked her husband to get them a drink. So he went to a stand on the beach and noticed the man who was waiting on him also had a W-Y on his penis. He said, oh, you must have a wife named Wendy too. And the waiter said, no, my tattoo says welcome to Jamaica, man. Have a nice day. <laughs> man goes to the doctor and says, doc, you've got to help me. My gone orange. The skeptical doctor pauses to think and asks the guy to drop his pants so he can check. Sure enough, the guy's d is bright orange. Doc tells the guy, this is very strange. Sometimes things like this are caused by a lot of stress in a person's life. Probing as to the causes of possible stress. The doctor asked the guy, how are things going at work? The guy responds that he was fired about six weeks ago and the doctor tells him that this must be the cause of the stress. The guy responds, no, the boss was a bastard. I had to work 20 to 30 hours of overtime every week and I had no say in anything that was happening. I found a new job a couple of weeks ago where I can set my own hours. I'm getting paid double what I got on the old job and my new boss is really great. So the doc asks the guy, how's your home life? The guy says, well, I got divorced about 8 months ago. The doc figures that this has got to be the reason for all the guy's stress. The guy says, no, for years all I listened to was nag nag nag. God, am I glad to be rid of that old bitch. So the doctor takes a few minutes to think a little longer. He inquires, do you have any hobbies or a social life? The guy replies, no, not really. Most nights I sit at home, watch porno films, and eat cheese puffs. 
couple were having trouble conceiving a child, so they went to a doctor. He examined them and concluded that the problem was one of insufficient penetration. He suggested to the man that they try the rear entry position. The man said, what is that? The doctor replied, just watch the dogs and do like they do. The man said, my wife is very shy and she won't do that. The doctor replied, try giving her a glass of wine or two and she will lose all inhibition. Some while later, the doctor met the man pushing a stroller. I see it worked, the doctor said. Yes, it did, doc. But now the problem is my wife is an alcoholic. How did that happen, the doctor asked. Well, every time we did it, it took seven or eight drinks just to get her out into the front garden. <laughs> A man goes to the doctor and says, Doc, you've got to help me. My dick's gone orange. The skeptical doctor pauses to think and asks the guy to drop his pants so he can check. Sure enough, the guy's dick is bright orange. Doc tells the guy, This is very strange. Sometimes things like this are caused by a lot of stress in a person's life. Probing as to the causes of possible stress. The doctor asked the guy, how are things going at work? The guy responds that he was fired about six weeks ago and the doctor tells him that this must be the cause of the stress. The guy responds, no, the boss was a bastard. I had to work 20 to 30 hours of overtime every week and I had no say in anything that was happening. I found a new job a couple of weeks ago where I can set my own hours. I'm getting paid double what I got on the old job and my new boss is really great. So the dog asked the guy, how's your home life? The guy says, well, I got divorced about 8 months ago. The dog figures that this has got to be the reason for all the guy's stress. The guy says, no, for years all I listened to was nag, nag, nag. God, am I glad to be rid of that old bitch? So the doctor takes a few minutes to think a little longer. He inquires, do you have any hobbies or a social life? The guy replies, no, not really. Most nights I sit at home, watch porno films and eat cheese puffs. <laughs> were having trouble conceiving a child. So they went to a doctor. He examined them and concluded that the problem was one of insufficient penetration. He suggested to the man that they try the rear entry position. The man said, what is that? The doctor replied, just watch the dogs and do like they do. The man said, my wife is very shy and she won't do that. The doctor replied, try giving her a glass of wine or two and she will lose all inhibition. Some while later, the doctor met the man pushing a stroller. I see it worked, the doctor said. Yes, it did, doc. But now the problem is my wife is an alcoholic. How did that happen, the doctor asked. Well, every time we did it, it took seven or eight drinks just to get her out into the front garden. <laughs> It's a beautiful warm spring day and a man and his wife are at the zoo. She's wearing a cute loose fitting sleeveless pink spring dress with straps. As they walk through the ape exhibit and pass in front of a very large gorilla, the gorilla goes ape. He jumps up on the bars, holding on the one hand and two feet, grunting and pounding his chest with the free hand. He's obviously excited at the pretty lady in the wavy dress. The husband notices his excitement and suggests that his wife tease the poor fellow. The husband suggests she pucker her lips, wiggle her bottom and play along. She does, and Mr. Gorilla gets even more excited, making noises that would wake the dead. Then the husband suggests that she let one of her straps fall. She does, and Mr. Gorilla is just about to tear the bars down. Now try lifting your dress up your thighs. The husband says, this drives the gorilla absolutely crazy. Suddenly the husband grabs his wife by the hair, rips open the door to the cage, slings her in with the gorilla and says, now tell him you have a headache. <laughs> 
man wakes up one morning with the worst hangover and no recollection of the night before. Slowly opening his eyes, he sees a bottle of aspirin and a glass of water on the bedside table. He looks around the room to find his clothes neatly folded on the dresser with a clean shirt on top. The bedroom is immaculate. On the bedside table is a note that says, Darling, your breakfast is in the kitchen. I love you. Downstairs, he finds his favorite cereal, croissants, fresh OJ and freshly brewed coffee waiting for him, along with the morning paper and his 15-year-old son who is finishing his own breakfast. Tell me, son, he asks, what happened last night? Well, says the boy, you came home so drunk you didn't even know your own name. You nearly broke the door down. Then you were sick in the hallway. Then you knocked the furniture over and when mom tried to calm you down, you thought she was the police, so you gave her a black eye. Christ, says the man, then how come my clothes are all folded? The house is tidy and my breakfast is ready. When mom dragged you into the bedroom and tried to get your pants off to put you into bed, you shouted at her, get your filthy hands off of me, you whore, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs>